Hi everybody, today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I am preparing a beautiful pot of French onion soup. Now I know many of you are intimidated with this soup. You're afraid of it because you think it's very difficult to put together. And this soup is gonna be one of the easiest soups you ever make. And today I'm gonna show you how to make it, step by step. Let's get started. So I have all my ingredients ready to get started. I'm gonna be using four yellow onions that look just like this one, but I have three of them already prepared because I didn't want my eyes watery and getting all my mascara messed up. So I made sure to do this before and I left just one to show you how I did it. One is okay. Now you can use yellow onions, which are ideal for French onion soup, or you can use white onions, you can even use the red onions, Vidalia onions, whichever ones you like. Now I'm gonna start by cutting the ends off. See, like this. And then I'm gonna do the other side. Then cut it in half. Then you wanna remove all the skin. Here we go. Now you wanna lay it flat down like this. And then we're gonna start cutting it this way. Now you don't want it real super thin, but not super thick either. And don't worry about it. Just do the best you can. Once you get to about the middle, you wanna throw this over like that. And then you wanna continue on. Cut it up like this too. And there's nothing wrong with that. This way you'll have, you know, different textures in there. Because you know that I love texture in my food. So now that I have my onions prepared, I also have one and a half tablespoons of butter and I have two tablespoons of olive oil. Now we can take all this to the stove. So I'm gonna be using this Dutch oven right here and I've got my heat set on medium. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil and I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons of butter. I like the combination, you know, your butter won't burn with the olive oil in here and then you know butter always adds a delicious flavor to anything. Now that my butter is about melted all the way, I'm gonna add my onions. Add them all in here. All these onions are gonna shrink down a lot. So now what I'm gonna do is toss them around. You wanna make sure that you get them all coated with that butter and that olive oil as best as you can. And leave the heat on medium. You wanna be able to hear a little bit of that sizzle in there, but not so much that it's gonna burn your onions. So it's been about five minutes. Now I have three teaspoons of raw sugar right here. You can use regular white sugar. And I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. Now the sugar is gonna balance everything out beautifully. And it's also gonna give it a little bit of a color. And it's gonna help with the caramelization, which is what we're after. And the salt is gonna draw the water out of the onions because the onions contain a lot of water and the salt will help draw it out. So now I'm gonna give them a good toss and I will continue the process just like this. Nothing to be afraid of, very easy. So it's been 20 minutes exactly, and this is what my onions look like. Now, if you think that your heat is up too high, you may wanna bring it down just a little bit because you don't want them to burn. You just wanna be able to get that beautiful brown color. Now look at that fond at the bottom that's been forming. And every now and then you wanna scrape the bottom like that and get that fond mixed in here with the onions. That's what's giving them that beautiful color. They're caramelizing from the bottom. The sweetness is coming out. This is gonna be delicious and beautiful. So you wanna continue the process like this until they are just at the point where we want them to be. So it's been exactly 35 minutes and this is what my onions look like. So at this point, I'm gonna add my garlic I have two medium sized garlic cloves, finely minced, and I'm gonna add them in here and I'm just gonna move them around for about one minute because you don't want them to burn. Now I lowered my temperature down a little bit between medium and low. Now I'm gonna add my flour. I have three teaspoons of all purpose flour. This flour here is gonna be our thickener. I'm just gonna move it around until the flour is cooked. You don't want raw flour in here. So it's been about two and a half minutes. 
Now I'm gonna add my wine. See the fond at the bottom? That's from the flower. It's a beautiful dark golden brown. Now this wine right here is gonna deglaze the bottom and I have one third of a cup. Now, if you don't like wine, you don't wanna use wine, you can just use beef broth or you can use beef stock. Okay, so my wine has now evaporated. As you can see, look at the bottom. All the fond has come off the bottom and now it's all mixed in with the onions, which is what we wanted, see? That's where the flavor's at. Now I'm gonna add my beef stock. I have five cups. See, you wanna use a good beef stock. You can also use chicken broth if you want, beef broth. I think they're all good. See, look at that. I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of salt, making it a total of one teaspoon. Half that I added in the beginning and half now. Now the beef broth is low sodium, so you wanna use low sodium and then you wanna add some salt on your own. This way you can control it to be the way you like it. Now I'm gonna add my pepper. That's half a teaspoon of pepper. And then I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of dried thyme, see? I'm gonna add it in here. And I'm gonna add three sprigs of fresh thyme. And I'm gonna add one bay leaf, see? Now, why would I add dried thyme and fresh thyme? Because the dried thyme is a lot more concentrated than the fresh thyme. And this just lingers on and stays in there really good. So we're giving it just, you know, making it all come together and we're just coming in at it from every angle, making sure this is delicious. So my French onion soup has come up to a boil, as you can see. I am removing this foam up here at the top. I just don't like it. Just remove as much as you can. I'm gonna lower the temperature to low, down to low, and I'm gonna leave it uncovered. So I have removed most of the foam up at the top, see? And here is my fresh thyme. You wanna make sure that before you serve it, you always remove those woody stems. You don't want them in there, and you don't want the bay leaf in there either. So now I'm just gonna let it simmer like this for 30 minutes. Every now and then, I'll give it a nice little stir. So now that my onion soup is simmering on the stove, I'm gonna prepare my bread. I have one French baguette right here. Now you can use any kind of bread that you want. I'm using my bread knife right here, and I'm gonna slice it about three fourths of an inch or so, like this. Now you can leave them like this in slices, so you can set it on top of your bowl, or you can cut them up into croutons, which is what I like to do. I feel that when you put the whole slice on top of the bowl, and then you set your cheese on top, then when you wanna cut into it, then it all sinks in, and sometimes it's not easy to cut off a piece, and then you have a mess. And with the croutons, you have a spoonful with every crouton. So now that I have my bread cut into slices like this, I'm just going to use my brush, put a little olive oil on all of them. This'll help us get a real nice toasty golden bread. Now I'm gonna cut them up into fours, like this. And this will be a perfect bite size. And here's the rest of them. Now I left three of them like this because I'm gonna show you how you can also use these. I'm just gonna tuck them in here. I've got my oven set at 425 degrees. I'm gonna put this cookie sheet in the center rack for about six minutes or so. Now at the three minute point, I'll go in there and I'm gonna flip them around, but you do want them to be nice and toasty and golden. So now that I put my bread to toast in the oven, I wanted to show you the cheese that I'm gonna be using. I have about one cup and a half of Gruyere cheese right here, see? Now, traditionally, this is the type of cheese that is used, but I've used other cheeses. Since it's only my Ron and I, I decided that I'm gonna use it because I do love the flavor. Now, if I was gonna be serving it to five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 people or more, then I'd probably use another cheese because it can be a little expensive. Now, you can use white sharp cheddar and you can combine it with a little Monterey Jack or you can use Monterey Jack, mozzarella, fontina cheese, any type of good melting cheese that you like, you can use. 
I think all cheeses are good. Now the wine that I use today was Pinot Grigio and I use about one third of a cup. But you can use Merlot, you can use a dry red wine of any kind that you like. You can use Chardonnay, just any wine that is good for you that is dry. And like I said, if you don't wanna use wine, then you can just use your beef stock and that will deglaze the bottom. But one thing about the wine, especially when it's dry, it adds just an added flavor to your onion soup. So that's why I'm using it today. So I wanted to show you the cheese. I've got a few more minutes with the bread and then I'll be right back with you. So my French onion soup is ready. So now I'm ready to serve my bowls. Now I like to fill them about three fourths of the way or just a little higher. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Ooh, here's the other one. Look at that. Oh, I wish you could smell this. Here are the croutons. See, I'll put in about four and I'll put a little cheese and then I'll put more of the bread croutons up here. This way, whenever you have a spoonful, you'll pick up one of the croutons. And now I'm gonna top them with cheese. Oh, yummy. Yummy delicious. Now over here, I'm gonna use the slices. Now these are oven proof dishes. If you don't have oven proof dishes, you can just serve them in a regular bowl and then you could put some cheese over your bread like this and put them in the oven for just a minute or so until the cheese melts. And then you can just come and you can just top your soup. Just like that. And we're done topping them, see? So I've got my broiler set on high. Just when it starts to get nice and bubbly and golden, they're ready. Two, two and a half minutes. Look at this. I am so ready for this. It smells beautiful in here. So now it's time for the taste test. You see how I'm able to go in here and pick up just one crouton? Mm. This is absolutely wonderful. Out of this world delicious. So this is my French onion soup. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.